Hi, I'm Lucas McCann, CSO and co-founder of CanDelta. We are a cannabis licensing and regulatory consulting company. On September 27th, the card application window closed. The OCM portal received 903 applications to become New York's first retail dispensary stores to sell New York grown cannabis products. But where were those products actually come from? Today, we'll be going over everything you need to know to become a licensed adult use cannabis cultivator in the state of New York. Conditional adult use cannabis cultivator licenses are available as part of New York's Farmers First program, which is administered by the Cannabis Control Board's Seeding Opportunity Initiative. The applications for conditional adult use cannabis cultivator licenses open on March 15, 2022 and close on June 30th. To date, 223 New York hemp farmers have been licensed by the state to cultivate cannabis for the adult use market. With this license, they can grow up to one acre of cannabis outdoors or 25,000 square feet in a greenhouse. They can also perform a blend of both indoor and outdoor cultivation so long as their greenhouse space does not exceed 20,000 square feet and their total canopy space does not exceed 30,000 square feet. As a condition of licensure, Adult use conditional cultivators must participate in social and economic equity mentorship programs. The adult use conditional cultivator licenses are valid for a period of up to two years. After that, these licenses must be converted to a full adult use cultivator license. Adult use cannabis cultivator licensees may temporarily manufacture and distribute cannabis flower products without a processor or distributor license until June 1st of 2023. However, they won't be able to perform the extraction of cannabis products, that is cannabinoids from the biomass, into products such as oils and concentrates without a processor license. That means infused beverages, confectionery products, and baked goods such as cookies and brownies are still a little ways off from being sold in the first cannabis retail dispensary stores. In order for a conditional adult use cannabis cultivator to transition to a full cultivator license, they must satisfy some specific requirements. First, conditional cultivators must have operated for the entire two-year conditional period without changing their ownership structure. They must be in good standing with the OCM. That is, their conditional cultivators must have submitted all required post-licensing documentation within six months of receiving their conditional license, including their operating plans. Those are standard operating procedures that speak to their site, staff, hiring, training, security, their cultivation practices, environmental impact, quality assurance, and how to conduct a recall in the event of an adverse effect. Conditional cultivators must submit their annual cultivation report to the OCM after each year of licensure. When applying to transition to a full adult use cannabis cultivation license, conditional cultivators may request to expand the size of their flowering canopy. In order to receive OCM approval to expand their operations, conditional licensees must demonstrate to the OCM that they have implemented sustainable farming practices. This can include efforts to reduce greenhouse gases, uh, waste reduction, sustainable sourcing of materials such as input and starting materials, efficient water irrigation, or the promotion of biodiversity. New York's farmers who've grown hemp through the Industrial Hemp Research Pilot Program are the first round of adult use cannabis cultivators. That is farmers who have been authorized to grow cannabidiol or CBD hemp during two of the past four years. The Conditional Cultivator Program puts New York farmers at the forefront of the state's cannabis industry while promoting social equity in an emerging market. If you have questions about being a licensed cannabis cultivator, becoming a retail dispensary operator, or obtaining any cannabis license in the state of New York, contact us at the number below for a consultation. Click the next episode and we'll be covering everything you need to know to become a licensed cannabis processor in the state of New York. We'll see you there.